When you first start using Trello, it can look so plain and blah. So today I'm going to show you five things you need to do to every single Trello board to totally supercharge it. These are the five things that I do every single time I start a new Trello board and I know it will serve you. So stick around. All right, so here we are inside a super plain Trello board. All I've done to this one is created a few basic lists and a couple of cards assigned some due dates to it, and that's basically all there is to it. The first thing I would do to your Trello board is to edit the lists, expand them, make sure that they're fully customized to your individual workflow. And for me, I like having things to do this week, but I also like having weekly goals. So what are my weekly goals for you know that specific week? I like starting the week out with that mindset. Um, I use this concept from Full Focus Planner and although I don't use Trello anymore for individual to-dos, I still like having this approach of getting clear on your weekly goals. Then you can go in and add things like notes and resources, right? Or you can add a list like the shelf when you need to park a project where you need a bunch of ideas, right? Ideas is another great area. You can also add here on pause. You can do something like this and you can go and just customize all of them as you please. Number two thing that I would highly recommend that you do is that you change the background. Now, if you have a free account, you can choose from photos or different colors. I like having a Trello Gold account that I can upload my own photos, but there's plenty of them to choose from. And so if you like nice cityscapes, you can type that in there. Sorry, now my emojis are showing up for some reason. Um, but there's tons of different photos you can type in city and then customize your board as you please, just depending on what your style is and what you're looking for. Just gives it that extra punch of personality and just makes things look a lot more visually appealing. Number three, you want to enable your calendar. So this is a free power up that you can enable from the settings menu. And all you have to do is click on power ups. And from there, you want to either type in calendar or you can look for the made by Trello option and click on add. And now you have a nice little calendar view on your Trello board. Now, keep in mind that you're going to want to uh, add individual deadlines to your cards in order to see them um, on the calendar so you can see the due dates and you can choose between a month view or a weekly view. I personally love the weekly view just because it gives me a lot more uh, flexibility. From the calendar view, you can easily move cards around. You can also click on them to work on them individually. And so it's just a great big picture overview of what your week looks like. Next up, it's time to customize your labels. Now each Trello card comes with some great basic labels. You can individually choose colors or you can type in an actual label, which is what I like to do. So maybe I want to add on here something that's helpful, like what category this task falls under. Maybe uh, green is admin and yellow can be marketing and orange can be content. And then I can go in and add individual labels to the tasks that I have. Now, one little tip, if you want your labels to show the actual title, you want to click on the semicolon key on your keyboard and that will automatically appear. So you can add labels as so, and you can easily see at a glance what you're going to be working on and what category that specific task belongs to with handy labels. Last but not least, the specific task is a little bit more directed at extensions and being able to add cards to different boards on the go, no matter where you are on the internet. And I actually use this a lot and I thought it would be helpful. And that's to add the Trello extension for your browser. So you can easily just Google Trello extension. And if you're using Chrome, it'll show up in Chrome. I believe Firefox also has their own extension and you can follow the path to add or remove it from Chrome. In this case, of course, we're adding it. I already have it installed and you can see it right here. So let's say that I'm reading my favorite blog and I wanna share it for later. Maybe there's an idea or something that I wanna implement. All I'm gonna do is click on that Trello extension, select the board that I wanna add this or save this blog to, and I'm gonna select a list that I wanna add it to, in this case, gonna be the ideas list, and make sure to tick the attach option here. And I'm gonna click add, and of course, you can add a description and a title. I'm gonna leave it as is because this is a web page that I wanna add. And now you can click directly to that card and have it be saved 
right inside of that board we just created, or you can go back to your board and you'll see that it'll be created right here on the ideas list. And this is a great way that you can start curating ideas from the web or just pulling information. Another great thing that I use it often for is if you're collaborating with your team, you can create a task or a to do right from your browser on any web page just by selecting the individual board that you want to add it to. Maybe you uh, want to add this to to do and you can just title it whatever you want. Add a description and click add. You'll see it pop up right over here on the list and you can just create a card from wherever on the web. And so there you have it, five simple and easy ways you can use to take your Trello boards to the next level. Don't forget to pick up your free personal workflow Trello board over on our website. I'm gonna link everything in the description box below, but it's KimberlyAnhimanez.com forward slash Trello. And we have a handy tutorial for you there just to help you get started. Don't forget to also check out our other Trello tutorials because I can talk about Trello all day long, but I want you to watch my other videos. It'll be popping up here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. Un beso, and I'll see you on the next one.